All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to do something called factor by grouping. Um, if you have done the AC method of factoring before, then you've actually done factor by grouping as part of that, um, but we're gonna focus on just doing factor by grouping. So there is an example here that's worked out and it's, you know, it shows you the step by step, but it doesn't necessarily explain what you're doing, of course, so that's what I'm here for. So I'm gonna look at this first problem. And the first thing I'm gonna notice is that there are four terms. And it's called factor by grouping because math mathematicians are not terribly creative. Um, you're going to group your terms. So we're gonna look for the first two terms and then we're gonna look at the second two terms. Now what I want you to look for is in these just first two terms, what do these two terms have in common? Well, both of these terms can be divided by 3x squared. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to factor out that 3x squared. So 3x squared, and then what's left behind would be x plus 5. Okay? So that's the first group. Now I want to do the same exact thing with the second group. So what do these two terms have in common? Well, both of these terms can be divided by a 10. All right, and a positive 10. So I'm gonna factor that positive 10 out, and what's left behind is x plus five. Now at this point, I'm gonna take a small break, and I want to check that this set of parentheses and this set of parentheses are identical. Not close, not kinda sorta the same, they have to be identical. So I've got x plus five here, x plus five here, that's identical, which means I can actually factor out that common x plus five from both of these terms. So that factor of x plus five comes out. Now what's left is three x squared and plus 10. So this ends up being your factored form. Okay. Now you may have looked at that and said, wow, that's a lot of steps. You're right. All right. So that's why we do practice with these to get those steps a little bit better in your head. And again, if you have done the AC method before for factoring, you've done this as part of the AC method. All right. Let's show you another example. Factor by grouping. All right. So I want to look at these. I'm gonna group the first two together, group the second two together. So what, if anything, do the first two terms have in common? Well, 10 and 15 can both be divided by five. And I've got y to the third and y squared, which means I can take out the lower of the two powers. So five y squared gets factored out, all right, leaving behind two y plus three. Now, my second two terms are both negative, and they're both even numbers. So I'm gonna divide out a negative two. Let's see what happens when I do that. So let's take out a negative two. So that's gonna be two y plus three. Remember, when you take a negative and divide by a negative, it becomes positive. Take a quick check to make sure that this parentheses set is identical to that one. They are identical. Okay, if they were not, something went wrong. And so I'm gonna actually go ahead and divide both of these by that common factor, that common set of parentheses there, um, that they have. So two y plus three, and then what's left behind is five y squared minus two. And I'm doing quick checks as I end this. This two y uh, plus three cannot be factored more. 5y squared minus 2, that cannot be factored anymore, so we're done. And at this point, we move on to the next problem, okay? All right, so let's see here. Um, okay, group the first two, group the second two. All right, first two, 21 and 28 are both divisible by 7, and I can take out an x squared from both of those terms. So 7x squared, 3x minus 4 is left over. 
Um, my second two terms, I've got 18 and 24. Both of those can be divided by 6. Yep, 6. Now, this is something I want you to be careful about. If I divide out a positive 6, all right, let's see what happens there. I'd get negative 3x plus 4. Remember I said that these two parentheses sets have to be identical? Yeah, they're not right now. But the difference is this is positive 3x, this one's negative 3x, this is negative 4, and this is positive 4. So they're off by a sign. So here's how you fix it. Instead of dividing out a positive 6 here, let's take out a negative 6. All right, so let's take out a negative 6 there, and let's see what happens to our signs. So I took out a negative 6. Negative divided by a negative makes a positive, and then a positive divided by a negative, well, there's my negative. Now, this parentheses matches this parentheses, so these two factors are identical. So my last step now is to divide out that common factor that they both share. So factor by grouping, all right, let's take out that 3x minus 4, 7x squared minus 6 is left. Um, so here's the thing. Factor by grouping is really GCF, factor by GCF here, factor by another GCF here. So it's really factoring by GCF three times, okay? And at any time, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, that you're taking out the largest, right, the greatest common factor for our two terms, and that these parentheses at the end have to match, okay? All right, to finish this video, what I'm going to do is just the odd questions in this practice set. Um, I will have the even problems done in the key, but you can ask questions about those if you have any. So I'm going to run through this relatively quickly. Obviously, if you have questions or concerns, let me know. All right, I'm going to group them. And because I've done this enough times, I will at some point stop showing this division step uh, because I will just jump right into the factoring step. Okay, but you can do whatever you need to do to keep showing the work that you need to show. So I'm going to divide by x minus 2. That's that common factor for both of them. And x minus 2 times what's left is x squared plus 5. That cannot be factored anymore. And so there you go. Okay. All right, number 3. Let's go ahead and group it up. All right, first two terms, n squared here, n squared here. So n squared, and then let's see, 2n plus, whoops, plus 1. Okay, n squared divided by n squared is 1. Next two terms, let's go ahead and take out, both of these are negative, so negative 4 from both. So let's see, negative 4, that would give me 2n minus, no, plus 1. So the parentheses are identical, okay? So let's go ahead and factor 2n plus 1, factor out a 2n plus 1. All right, so 2n plus 1, and then what's left is n squared minus 4. Now, you might be tempted to stop here and box this up, but you're not quite done. So going back to the factoring that we did yesterday or that you've done in the past, n squared minus 4 can be further factored. This is a difference of perfect squares. So 2n plus 1, and then the n squared minus 4 factors into n minus 2, n plus 2. So make sure you are checking that you're not popping up any of these difference of perfect squares as we go. All right, problem number 5. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and stop showing the division step. So I'm going to factor out x squared from the first two terms. I am going to factor out a negative 4 from the next two terms. Now, part of this is years of practice on my end, but I noticed that this first term was positive, second term was negative. But my next two terms, the signs are reversed, so to kind of reverse them back to make a match, if I take out a negative, that will make my signs match to the uh, first set of terms. 
So that's going to be x minus 6. So now my x minus 6s match. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull those two out. Now I've got x squared minus 4, which looks a heck of a lot like n squared minus 4, which means we probably need to factor some more. Um, we do actually. So let's see, x minus 6 stays, and then x squared minus 4 will become x minus 2, x plus 2. So there's that factor, all right. And then problem number 7, which I believe is the last one for this problem set so that I'm going to go through. Uh, let's see, we've got an x squared here, leaving behind 5x plus 4. Uh, if I look at the next two terms, now here's where I want you to be careful. Don't make up something here. We've got a five and we've got a four. The five can't be divided by the same things that four can. Four can't be divided by the same thing that five can. But I do notice that both of these terms are negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a negative one. So that's gonna leave behind five X plus four. Uh, check the parentheses do match, awesome. So that's going to become 5x plus 4 that they have in common. x squared minus 1. Again, x squared minus 1 is going to be one of your difference of perfect squares. So let's go ahead and completely factor this. So x squared minus 1 becomes x plus 1, x minus 1. And there we go. All right, so that's a lot of practice on factor by grouping. Again, the key will have the answers to the even problems. And if you have any questions or concerns, please send me a message in Canvas, email me, or pop into Zoom and 